Hey all! I'm happy to see you back on the World is Travel channel. Today I'm taking you on a journey to one of the most beautiful cities in Germany, the capital of Bavaria, Munich. I came to Bavaria to visit my close friend Oksana. She lives 40 minutes away from Munich. In this episode, we'll show you 12 places to visit in Munich if you have only one day there. Our first stop was Karlsplatz, also known as Stachus, a vibrant square located in the heart of Munich. The square is surrounded by beautiful neoclassical buildings. The most notable one is the Coral Story Arcade, which was built in the 19th century. Coralsplatz is a popular venue for many festivals and events in Munich, including the annual Christmas Market and Oktoberfest. The Stachospasagen offers a variety of shopping options, including fashion, electronics, and food. Next, we have the Frauenkirche, one of Munich's most recognizable landmarks. So, Munich is a city of cathedrals. The cathedrals are literally everywhere, and one of them is really special. So, as soon as you enter the church, you will find the footprint. That belongs to devil and according to the legend um, devil sponsored the construction of this church so <laughs> when i saw the footprint it looked really usual uh, ordinary but anyway it, it attracts a lot of tourists this gothic style cathedral features two iconic onion shaped domes that dominate the city's skyline It is impossible to miss the beautiful tribute to the famous Wittelbach, which is ornamented with bronze statues and symbols. Moving on, we arrive at Marienplatz, the central square of Munich. Marienplatz is surrounded by beautiful historic buildings, such as the famous Neues Rathaus, that means New Town Hall, which was built in the late 19th century and features a stunning Gothic Revival facade and a famous Glockenspiel. The square has been the heart of Munich's civic life for centuries, and it was once the site of tournaments, executions, and other events. So it's Thursday, um, feels like everybody should be at work, but no, there's still a lot of tourists. A 
Other notable buildings include the Altes Rathaus, Old Town Hall, and its first mansion in the town records goes back to the year 1310. After being destroyed by a lightning in 1460, it was soon rebuilt again by Herr van Holzbach, the master builder behind Munich's Frauenkirche. For beer lovers, the Hofbrauhaus is a must-visit destination. This world-famous beer hall is known for its festive atmosphere and friendly Bavarian hospitality. Hofbrauhaus was founded in 1589 by Duke Wilhelm V of Bavaria. It used to be the royal brewery of the Bavarian court. Over the years, Hofbrauhaus has been visited by many famous people, including Mozart, who is said to have composed parts of his opera while drinking beer in the beer hall. The next place is the most beautiful church in Munich, in my opinion. A small Baroque church that is a true masterpiece of art and architecture, a Samkirche. The church was built by two brothers who were also artists and is known for its explicit decoration and stunning frescoes. Finally, we reached the Munich residence, one of the most impressive royal palaces in Europe. This complex of buildings was the residence of the Wittelbach dynasty for over 400 years and features stunning interiors, including the antiquarium and the large Renaissance hall. The residence was severely damaged during World War II and it began to be reconstructed gradually in 1945. The Munich residence served as the seat of government and residence of the Bavarian dukes and kings from 1508 to 1918. Art collections cover a period from the Renaissance to Neoclassicism via the early Baroque and Rococo.
One of Bavaria's largest museum complexes nowadays is comprised of the museums of the Bavarian Palace Administration as well as other cultural institutions. So far, Munich has been the cleanest city I visited in Germany. Right? It is said that if you touch this lion, you can make a wish that will come true. Let's check it. Our next destination is Odeonplatz. It is a beautiful square with stunning Baroque and Neo Renaissance buildings. Visitors can also see the magnificent Triumphal Arch that was built in the 19th century to commemorate Bavaria's victories in war. The square is also home to the Theatin Church, a beautiful Baroque church with a distinctive yellow facade. The Theatin Church is an important place of worship for Catholic in Munich, and many people come to the church to pray and reflect. It's also a popular destination for pilgrims and tourists who come to admire the beauty of the church and learn about its history. If you're in the mood for some nature, head over to English Garden, one of the largest urban parks in the world. Warm. Warm and sunny. For a taste of Munich's culinary delights, visit the Wittelmarkt, a bustling outdoor market that sells everything from fresh produce to traditional Bavarian snacks. You can try some meatloaf or pretzel while browsing the market. St. Peter's Church is another impressive house of worship in Munich, known for its high tower that offers panoramic views of the city. The history of Munich is connected with the St. Peter's Church. The tower clocks, which have eight dials, are Munich's oldest known city clocks. There are many art treasures to discover inside St. Peter's Church. They include a high altar from the first half of the 18th century with a golden statue of St. Peter and the visible remains of St. Munditia in a glass coffin. Finally, we have the Sandlinger Tor, one of Munich's historic city gates. This beautiful structure dates back to the 14th century and is a testament to the city's rich history and culture. You know what you deserve after walking for so many hours? The pub! So, Oksana and I chose a nice Irish pub to stop by. My friend and I were lucky to witness the annual carnival a few days before, fashion. The term fashion is only used in southern Germany because it is of Bavarian and Austrian origin. It looked so funny and the costumes were incredible.
There you have it, a comprehensive guide to the top attractions of Munich. I hope you were inspired to plan your own trip and experience the beauty and charm of this incredible city. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and adventures. I want to thank everyone who keeps supporting my country. You don't have to be Ukrainian to support Ukraine. You just need to be human.